everyone, and welcome back to the Military Tech Channel. Here's why the U.S. Army uses the Black Hornet Nano. It's been reported that a single unit costs just $195,000. Unmanned aerial vehicles have been changing the way wars are fought for nearly 30 years now. Since their breakthrough use in the first Gulf War, they cemented their place on the battlefield and global powers ranging from the U.S. to India to China have been looking for new technology to gain an edge in the skies. When it comes to drones, though, bigger isn't always better. Soldiers on the ground are always looking to save weight, and war zones aren't always accommodating to large UAVs that need lengths of runway to launch. On top of that, maneuverability and concealability are two important qualities of a surveillance drone that don't improve with largeness. The Black Hornet Nano is small enough to fit in your fingers. The most obvious difference between the Black Hornet Nano and traditional UAVs like the Global Hawk, MQ-9 Reaper, and new Loyal Wingman is the size. Prox Dynamics as the Norwegian company responsible for creating the Black Hornet made it its mission to develop, produce, and sell the world's smallest and most advanced UAV. At just over the size of a soldier's finger, the miniature unmanned helicopter seems to have delivered on that promise. Of course, that small size means a low weight, something for which soldiers on the ground are thankful. Between the load of ammunition, body armor, water, and other gear, a U.S. Army soldier is often carrying around upwards of 60 pounds of equipment. Sometimes, according to NPR, that figure is closer to 100. The fact that all this gear is being lugged through a war zone doesn't do much to lighten the load. With the Black Hornet, those soldiers have a valuable tool in hand without adding pounds. The Black Hornet size is more than just convenient. It also gives the UAV the ability to accomplish missions that just can't be done by its more traditional counterparts. While unable to carry the payload of an MQ-9 or Reaper, for instance, the Black Hornet Nano is unparalleled in the role of personal aerial surveillance. Able simply to lift out of a soldier's hand, there's no need for a large staging area to launch the Black Hornet. It can also work its way through tight spaces like hallways. This gives an individual soldier the ability to, almost instantaneously, deploy a UAV in exactly the location where it's needed. A cost almost as small as its footprint. The Black Hornet size isn't the only small thing about it. Gizmocrazed reports that the cost of a single unit is just $195,000. With a USAF report detailing the cost of a single Reaper at over $16 million, the Black Hornet represents substantial cost savings when used as a replacement for missions like personal reconnaissance. The low cost also allows for an expanded role on the battlefield for the dragonfly sized drone. A price tag as low as the Black Hornet's means that it is essentially expendable. In light of this, it has seen use in the high-risk application of explosive ordnance disposal. The Black Hornet can be used to survey a suspected bomb, eliminating guesswork in an EOD tech's approach to the site, and helping him or her plan to neutralize the device. Unmanned vehicles are already used to reduce the risk to soldiers, and new machines to further reduce that risk are in development. The Black Hornet Nano is another way that the men and women of the Army can be insulated from some of the dangers of war. Of course, as more units are produced, the marginal cost will continue to decrease. The Black Hornet Nano has an eye for detail. Of course, the Black Hornet's featherweight and pocket-sized price tag wouldn't be any good if it couldn't do the job. The drone is more than capable, though, coming equipped with three cameras. In a press release detailing its 2016 acquisition of Prox Dynamics, FLIR Systems explains that the Black Hornet has on board a variety of visible spectrum and thermal imaging lenses. 
These can be used both to relay a real-time video feed to the drone's operator or to take static pictures for later analysis. The drone's small size doesn't hamper its ability to perform in battlefield conditions, either. According to Army Times, the UAV can fly in winds up to 15 knots and has a range of up to 1,200 meters. Capable, cost-effective, and convenient, the Army is looking to continue expanding the Black Hornet's use in the field. While bug size drones have long been a goal of surveillance technology, the Black Hornet Nano has finally achieved what so many have been aiming at for so long, 